All right, my friends, super important today. This project is absurdly dangerous, even lethal. Remember, don't try this at home. I want this ping pong ball to go through this wall. Ha <laughs> We're gonna need some serious power. I saw Mythbusters put a ping pong ball through a paddle and that was really awesome. We're gonna do a wall today and a few other things. You may remember my sling bow from one of my previous videos. We had a lot of fun with this. We broke a lot of glass, but in order to accomplish our goal today, we're gonna need something way more powerful. Here's everything you'll need. I'll put a list in the description and let's get right to it. It's super important that your ping pong ball actually fits inside your pipe. So we're gonna to wanna to test that first. Just put it in here and then blow it through. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little piece off the end. We've gotta get the burrs off the inside of this. So I just grab my knife and I just really lightly scrape that off. We're also gonna to wanna to clean up the inside of this piece and just get that extra material off. We're gonna to wanna to make sure where we've cleaned up the inside, we're also gonna file down around the outside edge so that there's not a sharp edge there. Oh yeah, that's way nice. We actually have to do this same process to the far end of this pipe. We're gonna start putting some of this stuff together. First thing we're gonna do is put the Teflon tape on our fittings here. Now I recommend brass for most of this, of the piece you're going around, and you're gonna wind it nice and tight. You just need two or three rotations and that's it. And so the whole idea is that when you put the Teflon on the piece, it's gonna cause it to slide further into a piece that you're screwing it to. Do the same thing to this. This is a half inch male pipe thread with a quarter inch barb fitting on the other side. This is just a half inch ball valve. Now we'll go ahead and thread this in. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wrench and tighten that down. Now the piece that I have smoothed out, that's gonna be at the very end. Same thing with this uh, longer piece of pipe. The one that we've smoothed out is on the far end and so we've got our sharp edges right here because those are just gonna get covered by this connection. So if you want a great seal with PVC, you always wanna use some primer. It's gonna go on both sides of your connection and it takes just a minute till it gets tacky. You don't want it completely dry and you don't want it wet. Now that our primer is just tacky and there's no drips, we're gonna go ahead and glue our connections. You're gonna twist it a quarter to a half of a turn and just hold it on there for a minute. We are basically done. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a ping pong ball, we're gonna shove it in there, and we're gonna make sure that it goes just past this fitting. It's gotta get into this pipe. There we go, so we're good. And we're gonna take a little chunk of an emergency blanket. You're just gonna lay it over the end here, which is why we made sure that the edges were smooth. Take your coupler, bring it straight on, and just shove it in. We'll just make sure we seal the other side the same way. I'm gonna show you how to make your Mylar seals right now. So this is, again, just a little emergency blanket. You can unfold this thing, and you can take some regular scissors and just cut right through the whole stack. And we'll just cut up the whole thing. Once you've got those all cut up, you're just gonna unfold it all the way, and you're gonna do that with all of them. We got our strips. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut little chunks off of this. There we go, and now we've got a lot of seals prepped really easily. We're ready to hook this thing up to our vacuum pump and take our first test shots. So here's the deal. A vacuum pump is actually something that is gonna suck all the air out of this chamber that we have created. So I've got my gauge here so we can kind of see, so we can make sure that whatever shots we're shooting, we know exactly how much pressure we're getting. Now that we've got it hooked up, we just gotta flip this switch and get this thing charged and take a few test shots. We'll just make sure we open our valve here and then we turn on our pump. Past 10. That is what happens if you have a little tiny hole in your Mylar. I bet you when I put it on, one of these little holes was inside this chamber and I didn't notice. And so I think I'm gonna put on some safety glasses this time. <laughs> okay, I got my glasses this time and I am double checking really hard to make sure that there's no cracks, no cuts and no holes in this piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my ping pong ball and then pop this on. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Something really important to know is whichever seal blows first, it's gonna shoot it out the other end. Now, if our ball is right here and that seal down at the far end blows, it's gonna shoot this way, but it's only gonna have a very, very small area with which to power it. And so it's not gonna go nearly as far 
as if the ball is here and this seal is punctured first, it's going to use the entire chamber to launch that thing way out there. Yeah, look at that. That was fun. We're prepped and ready. Why don't we just start blasting a bunch of stuff? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> nice, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> now we've seen what the ping pong balls can do to cans. I wanna try it out on some of this fruit. Feel good. It kind of exploded that. You can see the cracks in the skin right there as it just tries to explode. We've had some fun so far. We are able to blast some ping pong balls into cans, into some fruit, and that's just regular ping pong balls. Now we need a little bit more oomph. We're gonna see what we can do. Just pop a hole in it, take one of these little syringes, and then you just push the water in. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape making sure that's nice and flat. And that dramatically increases the weight of our ammunition. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh wow, look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, that was dramatically different. There's only pieces left, like, like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh, I don't know what was in that. <laughs> well, it's been super amazing so far, but cake next. It's like the ping pong ball hit it and like rolled up it because the front is demolished, but the back, I mean, it clearly did not go through the back. That's awesome. Look, it's on the ceiling. <laughs> Look, you can see the actual carrots. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay, straight back at me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> That ping pong ball was filled with water. I'm not totally satisfied. Fortunately, I have a surprise in store. We've got some ammunition that is gonna be absolutely killer. <laughs> what? Wow, papayas are really cool on the inside. <laughs> I really, really wanted it to explode. It's so demolished. Look, we did it. We've had a blast so far. We have destroyed a whole assortment of fruit, the cake, soda cans. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We're gonna try and get through this wall over here. So I have prepared some very special ammunition. This actually has gravel in it. I haven't tried this before, so I have no idea if this is gonna work, so we're gonna find out together. Oh it my gosh. Back, but it's at this. Get one last surprise. This one is full of JB Weld, so it should be solid enough to penetrate the whole thing. We'll try a new spot and we'll see if we can get it with this one. Okay, that was awesome. Didn't actually make it through the wall, but check this out. It nearly did. For sticking with me this long, for not actually making it all the way through, I'm gonna have to cook up one more surprise. So I'm gonna show you what that is. I have these ping pong balls that are filled with paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast these ones onto that shirt and I've got 
tape on the shirt, so we're essentially stenciling in a T-Core logo onto this one-of-a-kind T-shirt, and one of you who comments is going to win this thing. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was so much better than I thought it would be. Oh, wow, look at that. That's so satisfying. Oh, that was perfect. All right, well, I am super satisfied with that. I mean, this is gonna be a great shirt. Here we are outside. I wanted to find out just how far this thing would shoot. So I'm gonna launch it way across the field and then we're gonna measure the distance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I lost it. That one went straight, the other two went to the side, but we're gonna go find them. Wow, now I gotta measure this and see how far it is. But our problem is if I go in a straight line, I got all this stuff in the way. We'll figure it out. So I am stoked, that was amazing. We launched this thing, I did use the balls that were frozen, totally full of ice. 565 feet is our total count. I'm blown away, that was awesome. Today was amazing, so much fun. I wanna give a shout out to Physics Girl. Her video is my inspiration for this today. Make sure you check out her channel. Also, don't forget to comment because you'll get a chance to win this amazing t-shirt that we made. And remember, let the random happen.